DIV Television. Good evening and um, welcome to the interview with Mr. Samuel Wise Bangura. In tonight's edition of the interview, we shall be looking at the um, leadership race in the opposition All People's Congress Party as various people have come out expressing interest um, in the leadership and the chairmanship of the party. And um, just when we come back, we shall be introducing um, one of those vying for the leader and chairman position of the Opposition All People's Congress Party. Right. Um, the APC lost um, the 2018 presidential um, election and many of its members attributed it to the leadership. And um, the National Reformation Movement, we think the party called and advocated for reforms and change of constitution to allow for elections to hold on and kick out the selection clause. And that has given rise and hope to many of um, the party members now trying to come out to exercise their democratic right to think the party in vying for different positions. And um, one of those vying for the leader and chairman position of the All People's Congress Party is the current member of parliament representing the party in parliament, um, Honorable Mohamed Bangura. Good evening and welcome to the interview. Good Honorable. evening, Sami. Pleasure mm -hmm. being here. Right. First off, let, let, let's go back. Um, do you share the views of many um, APC members who at the time felt that um, they lost the presidential election due to leadership failure? Well, it's not leadership failure. Mm. Bear in mind that the leader and chairman of the party, Dr. Anes Baiko Roma, former president himself, mm -hmm. has, uh, has told party members that um, he took responsibility. Mm. And when he took responsibility, he did that because he was the leader and chairman of the party. Right. But collectively, we all take responsibility for the failure of the party to win the elections. Mm. So it's not one man. All of us are responsible. Right. Now you're vying for the leadership of the party, trying to replace um, the current leader and chairman, um, Dr. Wanest Baikroma. Why are you going for that particular seat? I am going for that particular seat because I felt at this point in time I am uh, experienced enough to be leader of uh, the, the APC, especially at a time when they are in the opposition. Mm. I'm going for that position because I see myself as a unifier within the party, right? As somebody who has the ability, the capacity to go out and look for resources for the party, both locally and inter internationally. And above all, I see myself for that position because I thought at this point in time the APC need, after Anes Koroma, former president, they need somebody who is likable mm. to take up that responsibility. And I see myself as one. Right. Um, before we go to the specific qualities and where the APC is and what you can offer, let's talk about your political journey. How far have you come? Many people um, knew Mohamed Bangura from the political um, field during the PMDC. Um, you left and formed your own party and um, now the APC. So take us through the experience you're talking about you've gained. How far have you come in your political career? Uh, Sami, when I came to this country 2006-07, I joined the PMDC. 
I joined the PMDC one month to convention. At that time, I vowed for the position of National Publicity Secretary. I won. And uh, I did everything within my powers, to the radios, community meetings, to advocate for the PMDC, to spread the message of PMDC. Mm. And the people listened. We won. We did not win the presidential elections, but we won parliamentary seats in parliament. After that, two years after that, again, I ran for the position of national chairman of the party, which at that time, the people saw the need that you are going to be the national chairman of this party. Mm. As a national chairman of the party, I was responsible for the running of the party. Along the line, myself and Charles Magai, we did not see eye to eye. Mm. And uh, so many things happened within the PMDC. Was that because you were too overambitious in the, in the party? Mm -hmm. Does Char mm -hmm. Did Charles Magai see you as that one person who would want to um, send him into the twilight? Uh, well, well, well. It is not like that, Sami, mm -hmm. and I don't want to go into details right. of, of, of why I left the PMDC. Right. But I am a man who is not over, over ambitious. I am a man who just know what I want right. in life. And, uh, and uh, because of that, that nature that I have, some people don't like that. Mm. So anyway, that is behind me now. Mm -hmm. I ran for, for that position, I run that position, for close to a year and plus, close to two years. Right. And uh, we felt apart with, with, uh, with uh, Mr. Magai. And some people say, go PMDC. Some, um, people, some people say, go APC, go SLPP. Mm -hmm. And I said, I called my friends, Soa and others. I said, let us start a new party. That was how the UDM was formed. That was how I became the leader and the presidential candidates of the UDM. Mm. And uh, within the period of my leadership in the UDM, I also ran for the position of, of uh, chairman of all political party association. Mm. Myself, Mr. Magai, Priest Hardin, Dr. Hardin, and all of that, all that chaps. And uh, I see through as a chairman of APA. Mm. As chairman of APA, I was responsible for over one uh, for over 15 political parties mm. 15 political parties after the elections to bring them together right. to sit together mm -hmm. to s do things that 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 can reflect our political party point of view so i am not new into the job as chairman of APA, after the elections we are I ran for presidential, elect, um, presidential candidates. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see the UDM at that time has already became a household name mm -hmm. in this country. Yeah. And uh, less than two months to general elections, I stepped down for Anes by Koroma. Because the time for elections, I knew that if we go for presidential elections, mm. definitely I could have forced a runoff for that elections. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I see President Kuruma as a, a man with a vision, mm -hmm. bigger vision. Convince my party supporters, I convince my party executive some say yes, some say no, but majority say yes. Mm -hmm. And I declare for President Koroma. And, uh, and when you were, um, you were running the, you, the UDM, many young people believed in you. Yes. University students were always um, calling on you to advocate for them. Market women were always coming in. When um, strike actions were being staged, mm -hmm. Mohamed Bangua was always there and he was always calling the mix to come and help advocate. So when you left the, um, when you decided to step down um, the presidential race for um, Dr. Ernest Baikroman and declare your support, 
many young people felt betrayed that Mohamed Bangura, we were thinking he was different. Mohamed Bangura, we looked, we, we, we looked at Mohamed Bangura at the time as somebody who was sharing our plight, somebody who was always there to support us. But joining the system was a form of betrayal. Was that the case? Was that the case? No. It was not the case. I did not do that for personal reasons. I did that for the interests of this country. Mm. And I must say that for all those people who supported me before and who felt that way, mm. I am sorry. I am deeply sorry because you believe in me. That's why you supported me. And I believe that me stepping down at that particular crucial time mm. was for the interest of this country. Was for the interest of this country. Because President Kuruma was a man with a bigger vision, mm. very bigger vision. vision. That is the reason. That is the reason. If in the process somebody felt hurt, I will say again, I'm sorry. I am deeply sorry. Please forgive me. But what I did was for the interest of the country. I did not do that for personal reasons. Mm -hmm. You can see, when I stepped down and supported President Koroma, he won the election. I was not make anything. I was not. Not a minister, not a parastata, not anything. Until the late half of the president, president Kuruma's presidency. Mm. Two, two years to elections. That was the time he made me minister. So let, let's talk about the vision you saw in, um, um, in Dr. Ernest Kuruma whilst he was running for the presidency. That vision um, he had for Sierra Leone to a point that, I mean, at the latter, at the latter part, you served um, in his government. Did that vision um, that you see was it materialized? Did, did, did you feel personally gratified that you supported that vision? Um, or was the vision um, lost in the way? I felt that way. I felt so because we all live in this country. We mm. saw ourselves. We felt the transformation of this country. We see it all. And uh, with that, I am of the greatest view that President Kuruma term of office, two term of office, he succeeded. Not everything, but the major part of it, he has helped transform this country to some extent. So I felt gratified that I did that. I have no regrets. I have no regrets. If it happens today, I will do the same thing. Let's talk about who is Mohamed Bangura in the APC that now he is saying he wants to be the leader and chairman of the APC. He wants to unseat the current leader and chairman. He wants um, or those other members who are vying for the same position to give him a chance. But who is Mohamed Bangura in the APC? Where is he coming from? for this particular position? Give me a chance to serve as leader and chairman of the APC. Mm. As a matter of fact, I am not trying to unseat the current holder of that office. Mm. I am simply replacing him mm. because he is going to leave that seat. He has not come out with a statement. He is going to leave that seat. Mm. And doing so, you must look for credible people mm. to come in and fill in where President Kuruma left. And that person is me. I have already highlighted my political experience in this country. I have already highlighted the things that I will do heads on as chairman of the APC. The APC party at this time needs a focus well known 
underlying mm. leader, well-known underlying leader. Establish somebody, somebody with the credibility to take the APC back to governance. And I think I have that credibility. I think I have that heart to take the APC party to leadership after we have a flag bearer. And I think I have that ability to bring people together. To bring people together. Mm. Now you must have heard. So many people are vying for the, um, uh, the presidential candidate of the APC. Right. So many people. Not all of them are going to succeed. Only one person, one mm. person will be the presidential candidate of the APC. So it is my responsibility to bring everybody on board that we have to support APC. If we have to support APC, then this is the candidate we must follow. That, that is the ability. That brings to mind, what, what has Mohamed Bangura done for the APC? Because for Mohamed Bangura to just come and say, I want to lead the APC, what, what are the things you've done for the party, for the party to give you that chance? I already highlighted some of the things, my relationship with the former president. Right. And uh, by extension, with the party. Mm. Remember, 2007 was very crucial year for the APC to come back to power or stay in the opposition forever. As a member of the PMDC then, as a leading member of the PMDC then, I played a very important role for the PMDC to support the APC. Very important role. I played. And after, after, and after that, I continue to support President Kuruma in the PMDC. I continue to support President Kuruma. As, if, as a matter of fact, Sami, one of the main reasons mm. that led to the separation, if, you, if I can put it that way, mm -hmm. with the PMDC was because of my support for President Kuruma. So I have always there for, PM, for the APC. I have always stood for the APC. You know, during the elections, I took up a fight in this country. Mm. I took up a fight by taking the former UN rep in this country, Michael Sulomba. No one or nobody will have the guts to do that at that time. Well, if they do have the guts, they do not show it. Mm. I step in and take the fight to him. At the end of the day, he was recalled out of this country. Then we have a smooth elections. The APC won mm. the elections. So my role to the APC is unquestionable. Of course, my support Love and loyalty to President Kuruma is unquestionable. I have always been there. I have always been by, him, by, by his side up to this time. So if he's going, it is just right that among all the candidates that are coming for that position, I will be the most suited because I have learned a lot. Mm. I have learned a lot with President Kuruma's leadership. Mm. I have been by his side all through this year, these years. So I know when he takes decision. I know what is good for the party. Mm. And above all, I have learned from other parties the experience to steer people. Believe me, Sami, the day I will become the chairman of APC, mm. that is the day the SLPP will cease being the ruling party. Why is that? Because I am a man that can reach out. Mm. I am the man that can reach out. 
I will tell you for sure, many things that are happening in this country is because of the ego, because of uh, the, 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 the belief by other people that he or she should not be there, mm. or he or she, I am better than him, I should not talk to him. And I will introduce a system in the APC under my chairmanship mm. that talking is better than war. Talking is better than war. I will make sure that I s introduce that system we are in. We have to talk to one another. We have to reach out to other political parties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially the ruling party. If something happens in this country, or they did something to our supporters, somebody must stop, st uh, stand up, reach the ruling party, call them to attention that we have to sit down and talk. That is the only way. Mm. But for now, People just sit down, believes on their own little corner that President Bill, I should not talk to him, or President Bill should not talk to the opposition. Mm. And that itself is bad. So me as chairman, I have that ability to Pick up the phone, dial President Bill, dial Kande Yunkela, dial uh, uh, the leader of C4C, mm. dial all the other parties that this is what is happening now and we must sit and talk. And believe me, Sami, mm. they will give me audience. Right, this dialogue you're proposing, l let me just quickly out of curiosity go back. The fact that you were closer to President Kuruma former president, Kuma. The fact that um, you've learned a lot from him and it is time you are the best um, seated candidate to replace him. Does that mean President Kuma is supportive of your move? Is he the one supporting you to go in for Let me seat? tell you, let me tell you this. And this is what I told President Kuma, mm -hmm. and this is what his vision is all about. He is not supporting any candidates, including me. He is not supporting any candidate. Go and talk to the delegate. Go and present your CV to the delegate. Go and let the people vote for you. If the people vote for you, President Koroma will support whoever they put there. I just made a reference mm. to my relationship with the former president. I just made reference to my relationship with all the party leaders in this country that I should be the one mm. handling the APC affairs at this crucial stage. As you talk about at this crucial stage, Honorable, the APC is struggling. Court case, if not with the NRM, with um, Alfred Conte, who is based in the UK, thinking that even the current executive has lost um, its legitimacy to continue holding on to power, and um, the APC is broke, so he needs um, explanation as to what happens to the party. Just three years um, in opposition, the party is complaining that it is broke. With all of those complaints, why are you coming now to lead that party with all of these troubles? We just have to have a leader and chairman. Mm. We just have to have him. With the court case and all other issues surrounding APC, I will tell you for sure that if the contest and all those people who have taken the party to court will have allowed the party, give the time to the party to go to Poloka, have the new constitution, by now, we should have fine. Mm. 
I say to them, allow the party. Because all what you are asking for, mm. all what you are crying for, will be done through the ballot box. This present executive will not be there, okay, to see things, allow the, 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 the APC executive to see that power to the people, to the people. Mm. I am saying to them that, comrades, hear me out. Mm. Allow us to go to a conference to ratify the new constitution. When else the new constitution has been ratified, mm. your problems are solved. There is not going to be the selection anymore. Everybody will now have to go and ask for the delegates to vote for him. So why fight it? Why going to court? As for the party resources, that's why I'm saying, at this crucial time, mm. going to election, the APC will need the resources to take the SLPP. They will need the resources. Mm. And with me, as national chairman coming in, sitting there, I have the international and local contact mm. to raise funds for the party. To raise funds for the party. Mm. And above all, bring accountability to the party. Money which are given to the party must be accounted for under my leadership. Respect for the members. Mm. The APC is a grassroots party. Everybody is responsible for the way the APC is today. Yeah? So they must be respected. And that is the leadership I am going to bring to the APC. Mm. And I will be easy to reach. I will be easy to reach. Just come to my office. Just come to my office. I will be easy to reach. I will visit the grassroots people. Most of them at this point in time, mm -hmm. they know that Mohamed Bangora, he is easy, accessible. Very easy. That is very important mm. to have a chairman who can be reached at any given time. What, what, what are specifically the things missing at the APC's leadership currently that you feel are gaps? Somebody like you can come in and fill so um, the APC can have its desired um, leadership it is looking for to go into 2024 elections. It is not actually what is missing. Right. It is actually what I can bring to the APC leadership. Right. Yeah. The current executive under the leadership of President Kuroma has done a lot for the party and this country. Mm. So what I am going to bring to the party at this time is added value on top of what they have, I met. Mm. There, must be, there are one or two things where the current executive have shortfalls, mm -hmm. but in, in a whole, I will say it is not, it is about what I can bring mm -hmm. to the party, not what has gone wrong. There is no time. We have less than two years. There is no time to look back. It's fault. It's bringing everybody together. Brian Sané, the Minkailu, the Dondondo, all these elderly people. Mm -hmm. They fought very hard for this party. 
They fought very hard. They might go wrong. Some they might have gone wrong somewhere mm. because they are human. But let us don't look only in that aspect. Let us don't look into in, in that aspect alone. I, I, as if, if you are elected the chairman of the All People's Congress Party with the current state of um, governance and the SLPP um, give, it to, give it to them, they are doing what they are doing to ensure that they secure their space for the next term. What would you do to, I mean, to upset the, uh, the current uh, party in power and bring the APC to, to governance? I told you earlier on, I told you that I said, the moment Mohamed Bangura is the chairman of APC, mm. that is the time the SL people will cease being the governing the party. Ruling party. Mm. Because it is only Mohamed Bangura that has the ability, that have the relationship to go in their stronghold, say, f for example, Kailao, mm. and have friends there, as I'm speaking to you. I will go to Puja. And I have friends there. Mm -hmm. In their stronghold in Bo and Kenema, I have friends there. In the SLPP, inside the SLPP, I have friends. So it will be very difficult for the SLPP to look at Mohamed Bangura as an enemy. That's why I said so earlier on. To look at me as an enemy, it will be very difficult. There should be a time in this country where politics should be a friendly contest. Mm. A friendly contest. Is that possible between the APC and the SLP? Yes, yes, it's possible. It's mm. possible. Under my leadership, it's possible. Under my leadership, I will make politics a friendly contest that I can disagree with you, that we can be friends and I will disagree with you tomorrow when it comes to elections and national issues. Then I come back and be friend with you. Continue our relationship. Yeah? Continue our relationship. That's why I said earlier on, I made that statement, that I will be a top notch for the SLPP to crack because of my human relationship. I, I, I want to take you just quickly back to Parliament, out of curiosity. Um, there was a time even the leadership of your party in Parliament wrote your letter, thinking that you're not supporting the, 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 the party's position in Parliament, you're not supporting the move, and now you're, you, you're vying for the chairman of... How, how would that pan out? Believe me, Sami, I am a man who stands for the truth. If you're not white, not white. If you're not black, not black. Nothing else. That's who I am. Mm. The issue in Parliament was about national interest. And me, I stand for national issues. I stood at that time. I did what I did. They took offense. But it's done. We solve it. We move on. We move on mm. because that's my belief. I believe that Samuel Y is SLPP, for example. Mm -hmm. I am APC. But because Samuel Y is a Sierra Union, yeah, put aside his, his SLPP or party affiliation, mm -hmm. he is a Sierra Union. If we do the right thing for Sierra Leone, we have to call him out. That's my belief. That's my belief. Unlike other people who believe that we are APC, so whatever thing we do is wrong. You are SLPP, whatever thing you do is wrong. Mm. I, I am not for that. I am not for that. That has been the problem with some people with me. But it's not my problem. It's their own problem mm. to see People to see things nationally. But that beside, we passed that stage now. Mm. We're now moving on. So, so as we move on, you have some people who feel or think, ah, 
Mohamed Bangura vying for the chairmanship of the APC party. Ah, no, that's, that's a joke. Uh, Mohamed Bangura is a joker. Mohamed Bangura, no, he does not have the integrity, he does not have the credibility to lead the APC. What's, what's your submission on that? I will say to those people, mm. sit down and watch me. Sit down and watch me. Mm. Bring your CV. Let me bring my CV. Let us put it to the people. If you have a better CV, then the people will decide. You name me, Mike uh, Sammy. You name me one politician in this country who has gone through all these stages, apart from President Bill, apart from uh, uh, former President Koroma. I am talking about current politicians. Mm. Name me one politician who have gone through the stages of a party PRO, a party national chairman, a minister, a chairman of all political parties, and now a member of parliament vying for that position. Name me one. Mm. You're coming in from a house, the house of parliament, when according to many Sierra Leoneans, that house is the most corrupt institution in this country. The ACC investigation said, you members of parliament, you are corrupt. So no. is that what you want to? No, no, no. Okay. no. Oh, it says you cannot account for, for um, impressed. It says um, there are, there, there are um, accountability issues, um, procurement um, Sammy, Sammy, um, rules Sammy. are being flouted. Sammy. So is that what you want to bring to Sammy, the APC Sammy, leadership? Sammy, parliament is not corrupt. Parliament is the most honorable institution to be. Mm. And I have no regrets of being a sitting member of parliament mm -hmm. at this time. The ACC did not say parliament is corrupt. The ACC the said APC you could said, not account. The APC said there was a problem of system, which I agree with them. Mm. The system and processes, I agree with them. But they did not say so. And nobody said parliament is corrupt. Nobody said. According parliament. to the surveys. Because, because parliament is not playing with money. Even members of parliament said parliament is corrupt. Honorable Ibrahim Tawa is saying that. Honorable Kanda Yumkela said parliament is aiding and abetting corruption by omission. Honorable Gevao said, yes, it is true, parliament is corrupt. No, 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 no. Honorable Tawa. He might, he might as have his own personal opinion. Mm. And mine is over 100 members of parliament we have. If you only have one parliamentarian said parliament is corrupt, where do you leave the 100 or 90 something members of parliament? Mm. Parliament is the most dignified place to be. Parliament, and we are not dealing with Money. We are not dealing with money. We are not dealing with the country money. Maybe one or two issues, yes. That's why ACC said we are going to work with Parliament so that we can streamline some of the system they have. Mm -hmm. And I agree with them. Definitely. So uh, how would you take, I mean, with those allegations against you, against you members of parliament that you're coming from that honorable house, like you mentioned, what, what, what would that experience do for you in your current ambition, vying for the chairmanship of the APC? Well, 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 it's not about the experience because what they said about parliament, two or three people, what they said about parliament, it's not important at this mm -hmm. time. Because I know parliament is, 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 is a dignified institution. Right. Yeah. I know since I've been there, I have not been given a budget to run as a member of parliament. I only receive my stipulated benefits and salary. So how come I am corrupt. There is no way. Because I don't have a public budget as an individual member of parliament. 
We don't run public money. All what we did is to make laws. Yeah? So, I will not take that as an experience. Mm. What I will take as an experience is having the luxury and opportunity to be a lawmaker. Right. To be a lawmaker and uh, once I was an executive uh, 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 member, so when you blend that experience. You mean serving in both organs? Yes, so serving in both organs, yes. Mm. When you blend that experience, that will make you be a good leader. Mm. Yeah, because you know how it is as, a, as an executive member, you know how it is as a legislative member. Mm. Yeah, so all the people who are running, all of them who are running for this position, name me one person who has that experience. One person. You know, so for all those people who are saying, Mohammed is a joker. Mohammed is not serious. I will say to them, watch me. Watch me. You will know if I'm a joker. Tomorrow. You have um, somebody like um, Cole Sinture vying for that same position, who is said to be even the cousin of the current leader and chairman of the party. Does that not threaten you in any way? No, no, no. Honorable Colson is a, a respectable man, and a man as a man that I, that I have a lot of respect for. Mm. But this is politics now. He was he, has vying, he is vying for the chairmanship of the party. I am also vying for the chairmanship of the party. We must now put our CV together. We what, must what? now meet the people and talk to them. Mm. If he prevails tomorrow, he prevails. What would you do as chairman if voted in for the APC, Honorable? The fact that the situa economic situation is not good, many people are complaining and things like that. What would you do, I mean, as a party in opposition, to take the SLPP out of power? The APC only need to galvanize. Only need to galvanize. We have the support. If we can take the 2018 election result mm. just for the purpose of this debate, mm -hmm. you will know where we are. Just less than two percentage points, not so? Less than two percentage points separated the APC and the SLPP. So going to an election now, I know that if the APC put their house in order, have the right people, they are of no match to the SLPP. They are of no match to the SLPP. And I believe that. How would you build the trust and confidence in the delegates who will be voting in that? Mohamed Bangura coming to you now for the chairmanship of the APC. I mean, you, have, you should have confidence in him. You should trust him as that politician that can take the party where the party should be. I, I have no issue of confidence. Mm -hmm. And I have no issue of credibility. Because I have not been found wanting of embezzling APC funds or anybody mm. funds. So I have no issue of credibility. If you are talking about my relationship or my decision I took in stepping down for President Kuruma at that time, mm. it is not an issue of credibility. As a matter of fact, if that is the issue you are referring to, that should be a plus to me. That should be a plus. If I can go up to the highest office, running for that office, and stepping down for an APC presidential candidate just because I want the APC to win. Hey, bo. But when I give me this team, I take them, bo. <laughs> APC. <laughs> I will tell you for sure. When I give me this team, I take them. <laughs> How would you then bridge the gap 
um, I'm, I'm, I'm referring to it as a gap because we always have this problem between the ordinary members of a political parties and those who are up there to always not meet. They can only meet when it's elections, when they go to campaign, or when they need their supporters when they go to them. How, how different will your leadership be if voted in as a chairman of the party? I am grassroots. I am ordinary man. N now, you can see me. I drove myself. So I can be easily accessed. Yeah? There is no boundary between myself and the supporter of APC. I am going to deal with an open door policy. Come talk to me. Mm. As long as we have to put our ideas for the interest of the APC. Talk to me. Nobody will stop you. And you don't have to go through any protocols to do that. That's what I'm going to bring. Do you see the APC winning 2023 election? Yes. How so? I say APC will win if we are united. APC will win if we are united. You see, I mean, you just look at the current happenings in the country. Mm. And people will make a comparison with the APC and the SLPP. Because of that, they vote for APC. Because but their life has not been changed at all. From where President Koroma left them to now. I would not have to put you in that difficult position to ask you if your life has changed, if your life have, has improved. But I know for sure that things are difficult. Mm -hmm. Things are difficult. Because of that, with a brand new leadership, leadership with uh, an ideas, with a clear vision, a clear vision, a clear chain of command, proper accountability, accountability believe me, APC will win the elections. How would you, you said you have the international connections, the local um, connections and network to ensure that you are able to mobilize funds. Going in against an incumbent, if you are chairman of the APC and you said you're going to um, kick the SLPP out of power, when Sierra Leone is this tough, would you get that money? The APC is divided, can you unite the party? Believe me, I will unite the party. I will unite the party. I will raise funds for the party. I have that capacity to go out and to talk to people to give us money, give the APC party money. People who are not Sierra Leoneans, people who have nothing to do with Sierra Leone, mm. I have that capacity. Coming back home, believe me, the ordinary APC will pay contribution to APC. Sammy, if you put a contribution of 2,000 leons each, just 2,000 leons, for every APC person, mm. over 2 million of them, that money alone can run APC. That money alone. So I am going to make sure that everybody in the APC is involved in the running of APC. Everybody. Mm. Because you will have, you will be placed in a position where you will say, I have to give these 2,000 leaves to APC to win an elections. Yes, I will, I will introduce that system we are in you see the Western world, say America, for example. Mm -hmm. The ordinary membership of a party has a say in, 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 in the presidential candidate. Because, you know why? Mm -hmm. they, know they, they, they put their money. They put their $5, their $10, depending on what you can afford, mm -hmm. on the party, in the party. So you can stand up there 
and ask the presidential candidates, tell the presidential candidates how you feel and how you should be running the country. Mm. So that's the style you want to adopt? Oh, yes. And I will bring, I will bring mm. the youthfulness in the race. The youthfulness in the race. You know, the young people in this country, most of them, believe that politics for them is just to sing and dance. Mm. No, no, it's, also sing, it's not the just sing and dance. Let us take the center stage this time. And for them, when you see Mohamed Bongra as chairman of the APC, mm. you will know that you have hope. You will have, you have hope. Uh, have you engaged um, delegates? Have you consulted on um, this year, this year, your, your uh, um, ambition, this your drive, your quest to become the chairman of the APC? Sami, you know me very well. A lot of people know me very well. I kept quiet for quite some time. And now I came out. I have done my own consultation. I have spoken to different people in the APC. I have known how they feel. Mm -hmm. And that is the reason why I am coming out at this point in time. If, in case, I did not succeed, mm -hmm. If in case the delegates vote somebody else, I will say it is not my time. If they do, it is not because I am not competent or I have credibility issues. I know for sure it is not my time. Mm. And I only have to hope and pray, pray, for long life, I know after three years, there will be another APC convention. Mm -hmm. And as long as Mohamed Bangura continues to live healthily, there will be tomorrow mm -hmm. for me to contest. What I know for sure is important now is the APC. Mm -hmm. If the APC continue to remain as a united entity, I know for sure there is room for me tomorrow to play leadership. So role. specifically, what are those reasons or the message you would want to give to those who will be electing, those who would have the power, the delegates' power to vote um, and choose Mohamed Bangura as the chairman for the APC? What would that message be? I would say my message, let me just reiterate. I say my message, my people, are very simple. It's very simple and clear. Mm. The APC don't go through a lot of things here. The APC is set to go into the 2023 elections. And I am coming out for the leadership of the party. And they say to my mama, and my papa, them, my uncle, them, my brother, them, mm -hmm. vote for a candidate that have the credibility. Vote for a candidate that have the will. Because you can have the credibility, but you lack will mm. to do that. Vote for a candidate that have the experience the political experience to steer the APC tomorrow. And they tell them, not look me age, not look in age, Lord, look the parameters there so. How are we going to raise funds mm. for the party? How are we going to unite the party? How are we going to blend both the grassroots and the up there membership mm. to come together. And above all, I will protect the APC votes under my leadership. Mm. I will protect their vote. For see, if he votes to go in this day, they will announce the result. 
Yeah. I would say to them, stand up, look at us in the face, and look we eye them and say, would I don't suffer and would I get the experience? And would I get the will? And would I get the contact mm. for the one? Bear in mind, Sammy, I have suffered in the past three years for the APC, both in parliament and outside parliament. I have only been the sitting MP, only, that, uh, only me that be a sitting MP that police went and arrest in the parliament. They can me a CID. Me, only, with all my immunities for APC. You also know that I was the only MP. Well, my colleagues were all there, were also beaten up. But I was beaten up, mercilessly, in my own house, the House of Parliament, for waiting. Not for anything, for APC. Mm. For APC. So all I am saying that this time around, as the former president Kuruma said, let us talk to the delegates. And at this time, I am talking to you, the delegates, wherever you are. Sit down, pick up Mohammed Bangura's CV, give me the trust to run the party, and I will give you the confidence because wherever we find ourselves, trust and confidence go together. I will tell Nasi, if you put one cent in the APC, that one cent day, there will become a time where we'll have accountability. We are in the APC go tell you, say, you want said, na so do and so, na so do so. As for now, I am a paid up member of APC and me they give subscription to APC. One million news every month. But the grassroots people, they don't have the opportunity, the financial might to support APC right now. So all I am saying, allow me, give me the opportunity to go knock at the doors of people who have small resources to put in the APC mm. so that we can win the elections. And I have the ability to bring people together. And above all, me, if I snap as chairman of APC, to go in this day, you go like, even you, Sammy, you go on for support APC. <laughs> I swear to go in this day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you very much, Honorable <laughs> Mohamed Bangura. It's been a pleasure talking to you. And there you have it, um, that one-on-one -on -one frank conversation with um, Honorable Mohamed Bangura, who is vying for the chairmanship of the All People's Congress Party. Um, don't forget, if you miss this edition, a repeat um, comes up on Friday at 11 p.m. here on your home of all things credible, factual, and all times balance. This has been the interview. My name is Samuel Wise Bangura, saying take care of yourself. Until next time.
AYV Television.